How can you create your own context manager in Python? A context manager is an object that can be used in a with block to sandwich some code between an entrance action and an exit action. File objects can be used as context managers to automatically close the file when we're done working with it. Context managers need a dunder enter method and a dunder exit method, and the dunder exit method should accept three positional arguments. This context manager just prints enter when the with block is entered, and it prints exit when the with block is exited. Now, this is a somewhat silly example, of course. Here's a context manager that actually does something a little bit useful. This context manager temporarily changes the value of an environment variable. So the user environment variable on my machine had the value of tray before our with block, but within our with block, it has a different value. Afterward, though, it resets back to its original value. This is all thanks to the work that's done in our dunder enter method, which happens when our with block is entered, and our dunder exit method, which happens when our with block is exited. You'll sometimes see context managers used with an as keyword, like this, as result. The as keyword will take the return value from the dunder enter method and assign that value to the given variable name. In our case, we always get none is the value of that variable because our dunder enter method doesn't return anything. So it implicitly returns the default function return value of none. Let's look at a context manager that does return something from dunder enter. This context manager will time how long it took to run a particular block of code, the block of code in our with block. We can use this context manager by making a timer object and then using with to run a block of code and then checking the elapsed attribute on our timer object. But there's actually an even shorter way to use this context manager. We can make the timer object and assign it to a variable all on one line of code using our with block. This works because our dunder enter method returns self. So it's returning the actual context manager object to us, and that's what gets assigned to that variable t. Since many context managers keep track of some useful state on their own object, it's very common to see a context manager's dunder enter method return self. What about this dunder exit method? What are those three arguments that it accepts, and does its return value matter? If an exception occurs within our with block, these three arguments will be the exception class, the exception object, and a traceback object for the exception. But if no exception occurs, there'll be none. Here's a context manager that uses all three of those arguments. This logs exceptions as they occur. So we can use this context manager like this with log exception, and we have to pass it a logger object. Now we're making a logger object that'll just log to our console here. So when an exception occurs, we can see that exception was logged out to our console. We see error, the name of our logger, that's example, exception occurred, and then the traceback. But we also see the traceback that happened in our actual program because our program exited. It didn't actually print out this last line because of that. Now, if we had passed suppress equals true into that context manager object as we made it, we'll see something different happen. The exception is logged, but then our program actually continues onward after the with block. We can see that's the end of our program actually prints out here. What's going on here? So this suppress argument, it's used by our context manager to suppress an exception. If the dunder exit method returns something true or truthy, whatever exception was being raised will actually be suppressed. So by default, dunder exit returns none, just as every function does by default. So if we turn return none, which is falsy, or false, or anything that's falsy, dunder exit won't do anything different from its default, which is to just continue raising that exception. But if true or a truthy value is returned, the exception will be suppressed in our case here. Context managers are objects that work in a with block. You can make a context manager by creating an object that has a dunder enter method and a dunder exit method.